Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts. We have a big show today. In this episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews, we're gonna be comparing five flutes, all in the key of A, but made from different materials. Stay tuned. Welcome back, I'm Johnny Lippard, and on this channel we do reviews, tips, tutorials, original songs, and cover songs to showcase the versatility of the Native American flute. If you're new here, consider subscribing and drop a comment below so we can welcome you. By the way, you'll find show notes, links, and also some goodies in the description below. Look at all of these beautiful flutes. What a handful of flutes, literally. All these flutes in the key of A but made from different materials. I'm gonna set these down over here. Um, today, we're gonna to go one by one and we're going to look at the voicing of these flutes. Now, there is one big caveat in these flutes in that they are made by different flute makers. And every flute maker is the, a flute maker is the biggest contributing factor in the voice of the flute. The material does play a little bit of, um, does play into the voice of the flute, whether it's warm or whether it's bright. Um, and so today we're gonna to be looking at a little bit of that, but the, keep in mind, the only true and fair way to really do this is if I were to have a flute made in different materials by the same flute maker out of the same, in the same key. So there's a little discrepancy here, but anyway, I think it would be a really good and knowledgeable video and helpful video for you. So today we're gonna to start with the plastic flute. And by the way, at the end of this video, I'm gonna edit it so we have all five of these playing back to back. The first one up is the ABS plastic flute made by Ridge Dubay in, um, in Canada, uh, Northern Spirit Flutes. Um, let's hear what this one sounds like. Definitely has some brightness to it. I think I contribute that to the, um, the plastic and the clean lines. Um, there is a little bit of warmth left in this flute, uh, however. This is a, a really great flute. Um, they retail at around $60 in the marketplace. So um, these are a, an exceptional flute, very well-tuned flute and great for kayaking, backpacking, hiking, um, even for kids. Um, this you can, wash in your sink and dry like a dish. Uh, can't do that with our wooden flutes. So um, really, um, really great flute. Um, everyone should have one of these in their collection uh, for that, uh, for those reasons alone. So next we're gonna look at a bamboo flute. I really love the voicing of bamboo flutes. This one's made by Ray Wood in Florida of Island Flutes. I carry a few of his flutes on my website. I love these flutes. Ray does a beautiful job. And one thing that I really love about bamboo flutes is the sweetness in their voice, even in the high range, the high D, C, um, and E flutes even. You get that just that sweetness in their in their voice. They carry true to that uh, warmth in their voice. So here we go. This is in the key of A. It does have a wood mouthpiece, but everything else is uh, is bamboo here. Really beautiful, and even when I tongue those notes, still gets that little crispness in that voicing of the flute. That's something that I really uh, do like in my flutes. Next, we're gonna go over to, before we get into our wood ones, we're gonna be looking at uh, 
at this flute. This is made by John Coolius. I know John from years and years ago. Uh, this is made from ceramic. Let's get an up close of this. Here we go. Look at that. John does just a wonderful job. And look on the back. Look at this. Each one's so unique and different. Really interesting flared mouthpiece here. Um, so this is also in the key of A, and it is it is very heavy, especially in contrast to bamboo, which is quite light. This one, man, it's got some weight to it. So um, <laughs> pump a little iron. It's not that heavy. Um, so here we go. This um, this is ceramic, the key of A, John Coolius. He is out in California as well, and he's been making flutes for quite a while. Took a little hiatus, but every once in a while he gets a batch of flutes. Uh, Meadowlark Flutes is the name of his company. Here we go. Nice crispness, a little nasally sounding. Um, and, you know, that's the beautiful thing about native style flutes is, and, and their voicing even, even with these five, they all have very distinct qualities in their voice. And depending on the project that you're working on, this works well. We pick one based on what we need in our project or what we want to play and share with others. So next up we have a pine flute. Uh, it's been stained a little darker. Uh, this, we see quite a few of these flutes out in the marketplace. This is a Jonah Thompson flute. A lot of people start with these flutes for their um, affordability as an entry point for native flute. We see uh, quite a few of these and this one has a turtle, but you'll see a lot of different animal carvings, buffalo, eagle, turtle, a couple of other animal totems that you'll uh, see there. Uh, so here we go. This one's made out of pine in the key of A. This one to me has a little bit, a little bit of a breathiness to it, um, which again, voicing, if you're looking for that in a flute as a characteristic, um, that's something that you will appreciate about this flute. Um, I had one of these flutes many, many, many years ago when I first started playing. I think it was maybe my third flute ever. Um, it was an A, had a buffalo, and it was made out of pine, uh, but stained like walnut. Speaking of walnut, now we're gonna go over here to a hardwood flute. Uh, walnut is not the hardest wood we could have used for this. We could have gone with an exotic, but this is the hardest wood A flute that I have in my collection, black walnut. This is made by JP Gomez. Uh, he is heart song flutes out of Sedona, Arizona. Here's what this one sounds like. Right, so there you have it. You have five different flutes, but before you go here, we're gonna put all five of them right back to back in a really quick snapshot. So here we go.
Well, there you have it, folks. Five flutes in the same key by different makers, but also out of different materials. We had bamboo, plastic, ceramic, hardwood, and softwood. So drop a comment in below and let me know which one did you like best and why. Explaining why you like it is a great way to open conversation and also develop your own personal preference around flutes. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews. Stay tuned on this channel. We do tips, tutorials, covers, originals, and reviews of all sorts of different things surrounding the Native American flute. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Hi friends, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're interested in growing as a flute player, click below for more information. If you're looking for more videos like this, see the playlist in the corner. Lastly, please consider subscribing so you're notified every time new videos drop. Thanks.